my friend Mike Hughes gave me two blades, double edged blades. They're meant for a Ryobi, but the dimension is exactly right, the length is exactly right. So, as long as my carriage will hold a double edged blade, that should be good for quite a while. Nice and sharp, fresh. So let's see how we go fitting these. This is an Aldi machine. Cost about $350. I bought it maybe six years ago. I've put three new sets of blades in. I've got three sets of blades on the go. I've got the original Aldi blades. I've got two sets of blades I bought off the internet from England. And I've sharpened them all a couple of times myself by hand because I couldn't find anyone to do it. But now I've got my fourth set of blades, double sided. So I should be good for quite a while. They're pretty easy to change. Big wad of epoxy. Clogging up my dust extractor just loosen off these nuts a couple of quarter turns is enough Maybe another turn. There we go. Blade pops out. Don't let the springs fly. And this is why it might not work, is because there are springs in there that rest on the non-sharp edge of the original blades. So yeah, put the blade back in the same direction. Hope the springs work. Yeah, this seems to be working. Now, this little tool comes with the machine. Put it on the blade like that and push in. That pushes the blade in evenly. And while you're holding it with fingers, Or if my hand is in the way, I'll show you what I'm doing in a sec. So what I'm doing is using two fingers to push that bar, which pushes the blade evenly, using another finger to stop the rotor from rotating. Uh, actually, I'm using my finger and my thumb to stop the rotor rotating, and I'm using my big finger there to push that bar but now I've got two nuts tightened so that should be good tighten these back up I was always reluctant to buy double sided blades because I didn't know the springs would work on them now I do This machine has served me well for about six years. And at $350, you can't really go wrong, can you? 
but whether it will deal with iron bark or not, I'm not sure. Only one way to find out. Now I take out the other blade. There's two blades in this thing. And the blade popped out just then when I loosened the last nut. That's because the springs are engaged behind it. All blade out, new blade in. Springs engage. Tool to push it in evenly across, across the carriage. Now, line it up here on the edge. I'm holding the tool with those, that finger and that thumb and just one finger stopping the rotor from rotating until I get two nuts done up again. Two nuts on opposite ends. Well, one nut on each of the opposite ends. Now I can take my tool out and do up the rest. And that's all that's to it. I put my dust cover back on after this and then test it. That's that. The blade looks even. Both blades look even. Feel sharp. Yeah, that made a difference. That's awesome. Went through easy peasy and in bigger bites than I would normally put it through as well. Sweet as. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>